Welcome to Apps in Law, I'm Brett Burney. Today's app is ReadQuick, a splendiferous speed reading tool for both the iPhone and iPad at $9.99 and requires iOS 8.0 and higher. Now, I don't recommend using ReadQuick for everything that lawyers need to read. It's not really good for reading court documents or briefs or books. I use ReadQuick specifically to catch up on all of the other reading that's sitting on my computer or iPad, including online news and magazine articles, uh, webzines, uh, long blog posts, uh, long reads, etc. I've always been fascinated by people that can speed read. Begin. I dream of a world where I can plug into my brain and ingest a ton of information like Neo. I know Kung Fu. Apparently, I'm not the only one fascinated by the concept. Fox News technology correspondent Clayton Morris has to read a glut of news stories and articles to prepare for a show, and he needed a better way to quickly and efficiently ingest all that info. That's why he developed ReadQuick, and I assume that he still uses it, although I don't know how much he's affiliated with the app any longer. ReadQuick pulls data from a variety of online sources. You could simply copy a URL and paste that into the app, or you can save stories you come across into Read It Later services like Instapaper or Pocket. You can even pull info from Evernote and Feedly. My personal routine is that I follow several blogs in Feedly as RSS feeds and find great content there, usually through Reader on my iPhone or Mr. Reader on iPad. Review is coming soon. When I find an article I want to read, but I don't have the time to read it right then, I send it to Pocket. Now, I can access my Pocket app to read the stories, or I can jump into ReadQuick and pull up the list of stories from Pocket. Now, ReadQuick isn't speed reading where people put a finger on a page and quickly flick and scan it back and forth down the middle of the page. Most of those techniques tell you to keep your eyes in the middle of the page and your peripheral vision will fill in most of the other words for you. The problem there is that your brain will stop on words and sub-vocalize them in your head, sort of like sounding out words with your mouth. That takes time and slows down your reading. ReadQuick uses a technique called Rapid Serial Visual Presentation, or RSVP, which displays one one word at a time in a fixed position very rapidly. You don't have time to sub-vocalize. You're not moving your eyes, your fingers, or anything else. You're just being fed information directly through your eyeballs. The average person reads about 200 words per minute. Read Quick starts off by throwing you words at 250 words per minute. That will feel so slow after just a few minutes of reading. So you can swipe to the right and use the slider to ratchet up your neural input. You can also toggle the day-night mode and try the interesting dyslexia font. Double tapping the screen starts and stops the info flow. Swiping to the left lets you favorite or delete or share a story. Not to brag, but I'm up around 580 words per minute at this point, although I will sometimes slow it down or speed it up depending upon the subject matter or length of the article. Speaking of which, I really like that ReadQuick displays the total time it's going to take me to read an entire article depending upon your words per minute speed. When I read the traditional way, either with a paper book or an ebook or a website article, I, I I get easily distracted, but ReadQuick gets me into a zen-like trance. I just stare at a single point on my iPhone screen and the words stream right into my eye sockets. Now, I'm not saying that I comprehend every little tiny nuance of a story when using ReadQuick, but I certainly get the general gist of the story and some relevant info nuggets that are burned into my brain. If I need to focus more, I can toggle into the text of the story or go into the Pocket app where my eyes can bleed all over the story as much as necessary. I'm usually using ReadQuick quick on the iPhone in landscape mode. I just find that it works better holding the smaller screen in one hand. Your progress and subscriptions will sync via iCloud to your iPad as well. ReadQuick has experimented with a couple of different pricing models throughout the years with in-app purchases versus a one-time purchase, but today it's a one-time purchase of $9.99, which now includes the formerly premium feature that shows multiple words at a time instead of just a single word. ReadQuick is worth your time if you find you have a glut of junk
general reading that you need to catch up on. In fact, it could actually save you time and will certainly make you more efficient. You can download Read Quick for $9.99 from the link below and be sure to sign up at appsinlaw.com to be notified of new app reviews. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you.